Hello, it's Barra Boy Woods, and at the Lighthouse Station on Row Island. So I'm just showing you the tour, just round the boat. So it's got the steering wheel and all the stuff here. So it's a very interesting place. It shows you how they use it and stuff to go out to save people, to save the fell over in the water or some of the like swimming and they've gone something's gone wrong so you just come out and save them in the light but it just goes down the ramp and, and stuff. So this is all this stuff around here. What happens is uh uh it's cool. So that's why if you're in the water and Suffering from hypothermia, all the blood's in the centre of the cooling suffering from a heart attack. That's why you have to lift them like that and stuff like that. So, kind of like that. The only injury they had was a, a sprained ankle. Oh! Because everything was, was you know, sprung and yeah. everything was in the seats and so on and so forth. Whereas, if I'd been like on the old boat, you know, you would have broken limbs yeah. and collarbones and legs or whatever. So, Sims system. So you can actually operate from any position. So you can cox can cox can operate from up there, uh, there. They can get uh, a chart up there. They can get the uh, engine controls and what's happening down the engine room one there. And it's all very. Like when we have any uh, casualties to pick up, you know, we would take them downstairs and we'll go downstairs. How long they we stuff them in? Oh, wow. This is all the kit we've got in here, you know, medical, oxygen, uh, everything we ever need. If we use anything on a call out, we we'll always replenish it as soon as we come back in. Yeah. <clears throat> this is where we have engines. Two 1000 horsepower Caterpillar engines. Big engines. Um, the engines are facing this way, but that's the back end of the boat out there. Ah. So if we had the, the back end, the steep the angle is too steep to go and drive the uh, the propellers. Uh, if you touch that, it would burn your arm. Not only burn your arm, it would cut your arm off with the heat. So uh, we keep that well protected. And at sea, it would be very unlikely if anybody ever came in here. All oh, right. Okay. Even if there was a fire down here, we would just deploy those gases, and that would extinguish the oxygen and kill the fire. Oh, so right. definitely nobody in here will. All oh, right. Just things everywhere to make it work. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, I think they come up with the design of the requirement, and then that the designing, you know. And make it all. It's an amazing piece of equipment. So, do you even like have equipment under the floors and stuff? Right. Equipment, some equipment. No, these are dodges. So the hull is like this. Okay. So it makes it all kind of standing. You know, so ah, the right. Okay. A lot of the specialists. So yeah. you know, if it's faulty, you can. These are the computers. I can put it in that auto, 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 autopilot. We can connect it up to the navigator so you know the charts so that they can steer the boat itself even, you know. <laughs> that, uh,
Sometimes it's a, a, a it doesn't do the cooler. No. So that's why if, if you're in the water and you have any kind of thing, if you just keep walking in, they're suffering from hypothermia. All the blood's in the center of the cooler and you can suffer from the heart attack. That's why you have to lift them like that and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Right. The boat went out, it capsized. The only one that survived was the coxswain. Oh. Now after that, everybody would have life jackets. Yeah. Thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like on this video, if you haven't subscribed before, don't forget to, thank you for watching.